Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Generator and I'm back with another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to be talking about another topic that's been getting my nerves for a while. A problem that I see with the game's economy regarding caps and ammunition. And some solutions that I think that can solve the problem. Now, before 76, the Fallout series was always known for having a bartering system. That is, players could trade with pretty much any item they find in the game in place of caps. This was useful for times when the player either didn't have enough money or wanted to save their caps for something else. But this was removed in 76. But I can kind of see how it makes a little bit of sense. Being that 76 is an online game, most players probably wouldn't just want any random item instead of caps. It's not like players are NPC merchants who just sit around all day trying to attract customers and willing to buy anything that's offered to them. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Now, in regards to ammunition, starting out the game is pretty rough with only so many bullets. So it might be tempting to buy yourself ammo from player vendors, as many players do sell them. Now, the issue with ammo is that most players sell them for only one cap each, regardless of caliber or type. Anything higher than that just seems to be highway robbery, considering how fast players can chew through ammo. Later in the game, when players have a better understanding on how to acquire ammo, they'll be having it coming out of their ears. But without a way to sell ammo to vendors, the only way to get rid of it while still making a profit is to sell it to players. But, while most players will probably value the type of ammo that they use the most, this doesn't change the fact that every ammo type requires a different amount of materials, or even materials that are harder to get. It's hard to justify selling ammo for anything more than a single cap since simple junk items such as forks or saucepans are valued at only a cap or two more. But you can't charge anything for less than one cap either, and as a result, this forces players to charge more expensive ammo for the same amount of less costly ones. But I think they can get around this in one of two ways. The first way is to have the player gain caps at an accelerated rate, and increase the default value of items. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to use the actual in-game values as things will just get confusing. Let's just say, for instance, that a 10mm pistol costs 100 caps. Certain enemies randomly have about 2-3 to three caps to loot on them. Give or take the value of the scrap that enemies will have on them, you're looking at another few caps. So if that pistol costs about 100 caps, how about instead, make it cost 1000 caps? But at the same time, make enemies give 10-15 to 15 caps to loot off of, and make those scrap items cost even more. Now, while this is no different in the amount of work you have to put in in order to afford that pistol, now that the amount of caps the player gets through normal gameplay is fundamentally the same, it does make a difference in how precise you can charge for items when selling them. What you used to charge for one cap can now be charged for something like two or even three caps, because the value of everything else in the game, as well as the acquisition rate of caps through gameplay, has increased. Now, unfortunately, this method does sound a bit convoluted, even to me, as it does require a reassessment of every item's worth. It's just a shame that the game wasn't like this from the start. But the other method is probably the easier route. A route that, in all honesty, I just can't fathom why it's not in the game. Just let us bulk ammo. Seriously, is this too much to ask to be able to just bulk ammo, just like we do with scrap items? If the whole intent of bulking items is to sell them, why can't we just do the same with ammo? Even the vendors currently sell scrap items in bulk. This would make it much easier to sell ammo to players, as they would no longer have to charge by the bullet. Having a more cost-efficient method of selling ammunition would probably attract more customers to your camp. Anyway, that's it for this video, shorter one this time. If you agree or think that all of this can be done in a different way, tell me in the comments. If you liked it, make sure to toss me a like and subscribe. The next one may or may not be on Fallout, we'll see. See you all next time.